Hi, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. In this series of videos, we're looking at some of the new and updated effects in Studio One version five. Now in this video, we're gonna be concentrating on the Chorus plugin. Now it's a really nice update to this plugin and we've got some extra features that we didn't have before. Before we start, let's just play the part we're gonna be working with with the plugin in Bypass. Right, let's switch it in. Now with all of these plugins, they really do sound great when you switch them in. What I'm gonna do first of all is to go and choose one of the presets that I've been looking at. And one of my favorites is this acoustic guitar strumming. Now to me, that's created a really nice stereo width to the sound. Let's just bypass it and hear it again. And bring it in. So let's just go through all the different controls here. So we've got delay. Let's just bring that back. Next, we've got our LFO shapes, everything from triangle waves to sine waves over to square waves. And let's just go through those. And let's try the square wave. Now directly beneath that, if you look here, you'll see this little light that's flashing on and off. That shows you the speed of the chorus. Let's switch it back to, let's switch it back to sine wave. Just slow down the depth a bit. And let's try it on single voice. Now I prefer it with the two voices. Let's try the stereo width. Let's push the spread button. Let's bring him. Okay, next, as I said earlier, we've got the LFO speed and the LFO width. So watch this little light down here. And let's slow down the width. So now we almost get like a phase sort of sound out of it. Now one of the things that I really love that they've added to these plugins are the EQ sections. So we get a low frequency and high frequency. So these are shelving off the different frequencies. Let's make it full spectrum. Now lastly, we've got the mode button here, which is chorus and doubler. And as you'll see here on the voices, you'll see three is grayed out with the chorus mode. If we switch it into doubler, that appears. Switch it onto mode three, and let's turn the delay up. So now that's given us this nice slap back delay chorus sort of sound to it. And let's hear that in the track. I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. I really hope you guys got something out of that and I'll see you next time. Cheers.